The first five minutes of anyone's shift is the most important part of the day. We're going to talk about why. Welcome to the Proven Principles Podcast by Knowing Hospitality, the show that deconstructs and demystifies the inner workings of the hotel industry. Here's your host, Adam Knight. Hey guys, welcome to the show. My name is Adam Knight. I'm a 20 plus year veteran of luxury hotel operations and owner of Proven Principles, a hospitality operations consulting firm. And today I want to talk a little bit about communication and more specifically, how do your employees spend the first five minutes when they're on the job? And if you're not doing pre-shift meetings, you're really missing an opportunity to train and connect with your staff on a daily basis. Pre-shift meetings are crucial and high-end luxury hotel operations do these religiously at every shift change. So at the typical 7 a.m. shift at the front desk, at the 3 p.m. shift at the front desk, typically a morning shift will do them in the restaurant uh, and then an afternoon shift or p.m. shift will do them in the restaurant. Uh, They happen all the time. It's really the best opportunity for you to arm your team with the knowledge they need to do their jobs effectively and elevate your overall service delivery. It gives them uh, a level of comfort in their jobs so that they can talk about not just what's going on in their direct department, but they'll have more information about what's going on globally across the entire operation. Pre-shifts provide you a forum to open up two-way conversations with your team so you can better understand the ground truth of what's going on in your department, your division, or your business. There are things that go on that your frontline staff deal with on a day-to-day basis that if you aren't intimately involved in working on the floor shoulder to shoulder with your team, you may not know about. It could be things as simple as common questions that uh, guests or customers ask that they don't have the answer to, to maybe tools that you thought were good to implement, but turns out they don't work as well in practice. Maybe there's a, a procedure that was put in place that was thought to be good, but it turns out it affects service delivery or it makes harder for your employees to do their job. And a pre-shift is going to allow you to have those conversations with your team so that you can understand what's going on and to tweak things and make them a little bit better. It's really important to say that pre-shifts should be motivational. You want that first five minutes when your team comes in to start their day to just get fired up. So you should fill it with relevant information about what they need to know for the day ahead so that they can plan, so they could be prepared for what's coming down the pike. There should be opportunities for you to publicly praise your team. So if you get good reviews or uh, customer feedback, you want to present that to the team so they know that people are responding to things that they're doing. They should do more of that. They're absolutely not forums to start negatively uh, talking about or giving bad feedback to people, especially calling your team out on things that they may not be doing well. If there's a specific individual that you need to address, a pre-shift is not the time to do that. You want to pull them aside and have a one-on-one meeting with them in a a private area behind closed doors and and give them that feedback and opportunity to to correct going forward. But you should never do that in a public forum. Uh, Pre-shifts should stay upbeat. They should stay motivational. Now, if you run multiple shifts, like an AM shift or a PM shift, or have different start times uh, for your people, so maybe your morning shift, some of them come in at 6, and then maybe another one at 7, 8, and 9, you don't want to wait until the last person comes in to get everybody together to do a quick five-minute huddle. You can have individual pre-shift meetings with your employees as they come in at their start time. So you don't want to neglect doing a meeting at the right time uh, or not, or neglect doing a meeting at all just because people come in at different times. You could still have those individual quick three to five minute meetings with your team. And the other thing to mention when it comes to starting at different times is that your different shifts, you know, your morning shift and your afternoon shift, they may require different information. The operation evolves as the day goes on and things happen. And so information that may have been relevant at one time of day may not be relevant anymore. So just make sure that your pre-shift is designed to speak to the audience depending on what time of day they're coming in. So this is probably a good time to start talking about what it is should actually be included in the pre-shifts. We talked about the benefit of them and why you should do them, but there's some specific information that you should be covering. Now, this isn't an overarching list. These are just suggestions. Your operation may have more relevant uh, points that you want to get in there that you want to include, uh, specific items about what's going on in your hotel, restaurant, or your general business. But a pre-shift is a really good opportunity for you to look backwards 
and forward. So you should be covering at a minimum what happened yesterday and what's happening today and maybe tomorrow and the next day. So your team has a little bit of visibility and they can prepare, especially for big events that are coming up. So in a front desk setting, maybe you're talking about yesterday's occupancy and average rate. Uh, in a restaurant setting, yesterday's covers and average check, how many people came through the door. You wanna be talking about events that are going on, things that happened uh, yesterday, how they went. Maybe you had a big wedding in house or there was a big meeting that went on. So you could talk about specific specifics related to that. But more importantly, you're talking about groups that are in-house today and then any preparation that has to happen for groups coming in tomorrow, maybe the next day, maybe there's a big group or an event coming up You know, in a few days on a weekend. You want to start talking about that and getting the team uh, prepared and have it on their radar so they're ready to go. You could be talking about new menu items that are on the, the docket for the day. Maybe you've got specials in the restaurant. Um, maybe you've got a new service offering in a guest room or uh, there's something going on related to guest arrivals that you want to uh, make sure that the team hits. You should be talking about the daily log from the last 24 hours. So any problems that arose yesterday, any issues with whether it's uh, uh, guest feedback or guest complaints, if it's a process that's broken down uh, that's in your logbook, you should be talking about that. And specifically when it comes to guest recovery issues, if there's negative feedback that you need to go over or a problem that a guest uh, encountered, you want to talk about it in detail, but also what was the resolution that occurred? So don't just talk about the problem. How was it fixed? And then you want to critically look at those issues that, that arose and analyze them against your operation. And again, going back to understanding if there's any tools that don't work properly or communication processes that don't work properly or SOPs that are uh, standing in the way of the team doing good work. That's an opportunity for you to talk about these things. Lastly, and probably most importantly, is that pre-shifts are your best point in the day to be talking about training opportunities for your staff. So if you have a, a topic that you want to make sure that the team covers. So for example, if you're doing a pre-shift in housekeeping and there's a, an item of the day or an item of the week that you need them to take care of, a pre-shift is exactly the right time that you should be talking about that. If you're at the front desk and your team has an issue, say, using guest names when they're coming into the hotel, the pre-shift is the exact right time to be talking about that to make sure that they know that they need to be focusing on that specific item for the day. Same in the restaurant. If there's an issue with uh, taking orders on, uh, at, on time or maybe delivering drinks on time, you want to make sure that the team is talked to about that in the pre-shift. It's the perfect opportunity to get everybody focused on a specific task at the beginning of the day and they'll know that you're looking out for it and it's going to be front of mind for them and hopefully uh, the team is able to deliver on what that expectation is. So pre-shifts, the first five minutes of everybody's shift is the best time to cover all sorts of information. And you can bet that the best hotel operations in the world put a lot of time and energy into this. And if you do the same thing, you're going to see a marked improvement in service scores, uh, employee accountability, but also employee engagement and happiness. And that is the key. So guys, that's it for today. I really appreciate you taking some time to listen to our show today. If you want to learn more about Proven Principles, you can find us online at theprovenprinciples.com. Everything lives there. Our social media profiles are there, show notes, articles, services, and, and items that we perform, tasks that we do for clients on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything lives there, theprovenprinciples.com. I really hope you guys uh, go check it out. If you want to get in touch with us, you could do it through the website as well. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. Feedback on the show, any topics you'd like to get uh, discussed, anything at all, uh, feel free to reach out. And we'll talk to you on another episode. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for listening to the Proven Principles Podcast with Adam Knight. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss a show. The podcast is brought to you by Knowing Hospitality, a full-service hotel management company that puts your performance first by rethinking the management model. Visit knowinghospitality.com to learn more. Until next time.